Even ERP companies like Oracle, Cisco, SAP are starting to recognize that they need to understand people, right? Because many times we, we talk a lot, but behind these conversations is the actual intent and motivation. So when you think about a CRM system, for instance, one of the most laborious aspects is the note-taking. So when you're in a meeting context and there are multiple decision makers, you don't really know what's happening just based on the words spoken. You have to understand their body language and the voice and subtle things like their expressions and their eye movements, and you know what the likely chance that the message is being conveyed and received properly, and what the conversion is going to be. I mean, that, that's to me, it's fundamental. And really, I don't know any firm that's really doing it well, but I know that IBM and others are researching and looking into it. So for example, you know, we're, I'm talking to the CEO of Avantar, um, Geppetto Avantars, that use IBM Watson uh, in terms of natural language processing to be able to you know, use the, the laptop computer uh, camera for facial detection, voice analysis, and the body movements, and then using IBM Watson, have a natural conversation with you around your medical needs. Does it just come down to that better, more precise messaging? And does the agency actually have the mechanism to do the better, more precise messaging? Or are they only, or they're trying to kind of figure this all at once because this is all very new to them? Because if, let's say, your system does work 100%, they will have to make a new message for every single person they ping, yes? Right, and the nice thing about the algorithm is that though it can scale to a million or more, really the, alg the algorithm and the recommendation or the decision support engine is going to be specific to that individual and the biometrics or the, uh, or the modalities that we're able to process. So it's very individualized. Now in terms of the agencies or anybody else, really they're looking to us to bring the capabilities and the know-how. They are simply providing the connection, the relationship, and the format to be able to make it happen. Is there any one example right now that's in practice that's actually generating some type of real understanding about behavior beyond you know what we say that you're you're sort of emboldened by? You're like, oh, okay, this we're finally on the right track with this. Yeah. Again, I go back to the um, Geppetto avatars. So they've actually developed and um, enrich uh, this system with incredible amount of medical information so that by doing a tele teleconference with this avatar or virtual assistant, the system using the computer um, camera for facial recognition, voice analysis, and so forth, as well as the questions that's being posed, is searching through the mound of repository and, and knowledge, knowledge information to be able to come back and say, oh, sounds like your symptom sounds like this. Perhaps maybe what you need to consider is this. So in other words, what they're doing is they're actually trying to compress and uh, segment out the need for doctors and even nurses for that matter so that this, this other uh, layer that sits on top, which is an intelligence system, can actually do a lot of triage from a medical perspective before it gets escalated up to, let's say, a professional physician.